Akim. Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Bakar Kodash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, you Akim out there that's pushing the truth for sensitivity. This is another little quick lesson, you know. Hopefully, the hopeful elect will be edified through the grace and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And we, you know, we're going to get into these prophecies, man, because guess what? We see earthquakes and we see upwards of the people. We see famine. What's going on in Brazil and Venezuela? We see wars and rumors of war. We measure in the times. So we know that we in the end time, we're in the end of Esau's rulership. So Esau, the soul of Revelation 12 and 12, is going to come down with great wrath because he knows that his time is short. So we prepare you, Jakes, that's out there listening and taking heed to what we're saying of the coming destruction and also the coming of Jacob's trouble, man. And you're going to know, like the Apostle Tahar said, you're going to know when, when it's Jacob's trouble, man. Right. Because all hell's going to be breaking loose. So we're going to get into the miseries that's, that's going to before you Negroes, especially Native Americans, man, and the rest of the nations. So this is Second Nezrus chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's what we're doing, man. We're having right now, recording this video, Speaking in the ears of the Most High's people, which are you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the, the words of prophecy, man. You know, these are not our words, but the words of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah, man. We speak in his words, man, the, which is the words of prophecy. And he had put his words in our mouth. And that's why we speak in it, man. And we agree with it. And we agree with it, man. And that's why we out here, part of the hope for the elect, on how it's in the Bible, is pushing this word, man. Doing the things that, that Yahweh Shah told us to do, man. Go out there on the hours and the bowers, man, and push this word. That's what we out here. Also, we putting up videos, man. Yep. Yeah. Which I will put in the, which I will put in thy mouth. Hey, the most I put these words in our mouth, man. You know. We say if the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You better believe the most high Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah's words is faithful and true. The most high is not a man, he shall lie. So all his so all his prophecies are gonna to come to pass, man. It may seem like it's tarrying, but guess what, man? Now we're at the end of Esau's rulership, and we see over 144,000, it's like over 144 earthquakes was surrounding the ring of fire that happened within the span of a week, man. It's not that prophecy. It's not that the words of the Most High that was spoken about in Matthew, the 20, um, 24th chapter, the fifth verse on down. Yeah, bring it up. Bro. This is Habakkuk 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and, and, this, and not lie. And the vision that, that's <laughs> was spoken about during the time of Habakkuk is happening now, man. Even though it was tarrying, it tarried for hundreds of years, man. But now we're in a time where them prophecies that Habakkuk was, that saw, is starting to come to pass, man. All these prophecies are coming to pass, man. And guess what, man? Men, that's a part of the elect, of, of the hopeful elect. We get in hype. We happy. We see, because we measuring the times. And we seeing the prophecies that were spoken about by Yahweh Shah. And also in the days of old, before, before Yahweh Shah, it's starting to come to pass, man. You know? These are the words of the Most High Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy words, man? They come in the past, man, and we rejoice it, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason to say, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Hey, man, during the time of in the early 40s, in the 50s, it was tarrying, man. Right. The words was not coming to pass, but prior to, but after the, the, um, the um, hippie movement, Going into the 70s, late 60s, early 70s, the most side started bringing out his word, man. Gathering the first fruits of the sons of Israel, man, back into the fold, man, which are a part of the hope for the elect. So from 1969 from on now, until now, the most high been gathering his elect, man. His hope for the elect, man. And if I may, and we're seeing the prophecies, man. Prophecies such as the mark of the beast that you read about in Revelation 13 and 16. We're seeing that come to pass right now, man. Last year, um, yeah, around last uh, last year around this time or in July, you had this uh, company out there in Wisconsin 
and they were you know pushing this this uh, microchip which we know to be the mark of the beast yep. and this is being fulfilled in these days man so we're seeing these prophecies come to pass out there in, in england right now you've got a gentleman or an individual out there in england that has got the oyster card and he's put um the chip in his in his hand which the oyster card is, is a way of traveling out there in, in london and now he's got this um chip instead of his oyster card and that's gonna bring about this mark of the beast man which is the, the, the new world order agenda of these wicked elite of Esau out there in Europe. So we're seeing these things come to pass and that's why like the elders said we're rejoicing in these last days, man. Because these prophecies, they're not tarrying, they're not delaying. They're, they're fastly approaching. So the, the, the faster these po uh, prophecies come to pass, the faster our deliverance comes, man. Salvation for the for the elect of the nation of Israel, which pertains unto you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, man. That's right. That's it. The elect of you. You got some more? Got yeah, some? yeah, kind of still more. Yeah, come on. It says, um, this uh, back in Second Edges chapter fifteen. This is verse three. Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. Let's talk about the incredulity. It's talking about unbelief, man. Yep. Unbelief of who? Of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's a part of the two thirds club, man. Let not the incredulity of them. That's a part of the two thirds trouble, thee, man. Right. That speak against thee. How they speak against us? They call us pedophiles. They call us rapists, man. They, what does they call us, man? They call us um bums. pedophiles, rapists, bums. Yeah. Anything well, that's foul, dads, all kind of, all anything kind that's of shit, foul, man. They they speak against us, and they, and they call us that, man. But it says, let not the incredulity of them that's a part of the two thirds trouble thee. For all the unfaithful of the two thirds shall die in unfaithfulness, man. Yep. And that's the most just, man. And I don't give a fuck about the two thirds, man. Let's put that on record. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. The unfaithful of who? The unfaithful of the two thirds, man. Of you Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans that do not believe in these scriptures, man. You're going to die a wicked and horrible and and, and strenuous death, man, by, by the way of famine, by the way of pestilence, AIDS, E. coli, Ebola, and whatever other disease that the most high inflict you with. Freak accidents. <laughs> Freak accidents. They're going to die by the way of the sword, yep. by the way of the famine. By yeah, the, way the Lord said he appointed four deaths. That's right, man. In Jeremiah, right. man. Yeah, in, Jer in Jeremiah. I think it's the 15th chapter. Kind, kind. Yep. Jeremiah this, 15. This is Jeremiah 15, verse 3. And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the, the, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And that's what's going to happen, man. Hey, man, when that, when that, when um, Jacob's trouble comes, pursuing the Revelation 12 and 12, I'm saying Daniel's 12 and 1, Je um, Jeremiah um, 12 and, I mean, I mean, I mean, Jeremiah 30 and 7, when these prophecies come to pass, man, it's going to be a whole lot of Israel that's being put to death out here, man. And guess what? They're not going to, the most are not going to suffer their bodies to be buried. Therefore, the birds of the air is going to have a feast on them, the beasts of the field, the dogs. And during the time of martial law, these zoo animals is going to be unleashed upon the public, man. So they're going to be feasting on these dead bodies too, man, as well as teeth of wild beasts destroying and attacking the wicked of our people and the wicked of Esau, man. This is 2nd Ezra 8 verse 50 For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world Hey man, them great miseries is referring to you Negroes and Spanish Native Americans That's a part of the two thirds man Many great miseries are going to be done to you because guess what? When, when the Most High world is being preached freely And it was out there You had taken liberty to learn the words of the Most High, but what you did, you scoffed at us, you scorned at us, you talk shit against us, man. Not against yeah. us, against the words of the Most High. That's yeah. right. They disregarded it and took it for granted, man. All right. So, so the so the Most High is going to judge you because of that, man. Because of that alone. Because all we did was was teach you that you're the best people, and that the kingdom of heaven is for you. Who the hell wouldn't want that? Especially sure. someone that's catching so much hell. Right. Who the, hell, who the hell wouldn't want that? I would look forward to the kingdom of heaven, man. Exactly. After hearing that. And then, then the Lord is sitting here promising you justice, man. But yet you go to your oppressors, the same people that's oppressing you, to seek justice from them. That's what's wrong with our people. That's why the Lord said his people are sick and he's going to destroy two-thirds of them, man. And you know sick they, from the head to the sole of the fucking foot, man. And you know what they call that? They call yep. that Stockholm Syndrome, Come. man. 
when you begin to love your oppressor, man, who's the oppressor of our people? It's fucking so-called white man. Edom. Esau. He's the oppressor of our people, man. Putting our people through all kind of hell, man. Putting drugs in the, in the community. Drugs in the community, man. Drugs in the community. Guns in the community, man. It's the it's the man. You know, nobody else but Esau, man. Me? Yep. I got I got a, a, another scripture for you. This is uh, this is First Peter's chapter four, verse seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. For judgment, for the time coming that judgment shall begin at the Most at the house of the Most High. Pursuant to Ezekiel the ninth chapter, the fourth verse, man, where the Most High said he's gonna begin in his sanctuary, and now the house of the Most High. Is the men that know that they're Israel, man. I-S-U-P-K, Nate Satan, that's out there marching. He got a 501c3 charter that's being regulated by the government. Now, he's being told what he can say, what he can't say. I-S-U-P-K, G-O-C-C. Let's read it again, bro, real quick. Yep. It says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. G-O-C-C, I-S-U-P-K, I-S-U, I'm saying I S I'm saying I S U C whatever that shit is. I-U-I-C. G-O-C-C. G-O-C-C. The, bugged out, retarded the most high judgment is going to begin at the house of Israel, man. The men that claim to know that they're Israel, but they sold out, man. So the most high is going to oh, fuck y'all up, All man. the turncoats in Israel, all, 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 all you niggas, whether you was part of any one group of one West. That fell out. All right, that fell out. And now you, now you, now you, you running around teaching the opposite of this gospel, man. Now All you right? fucking, now you, now you back in, now you back in plantation Christianity. Yeah. So the, so the worst, yeah. so now you worse off than what you, when you, I'm saying, well, when you came in this truth, man. Now you teaching plant, now the most I put a reprobate spirit on you, which is void of judgment. Now you out there teaching plantation Christianity, Renaissance Christianity. And actually go back to Serapis, Well, you man. know what? In the back of them niggas' minds, plantation Christianity never left, left right. their spirit, man. Yeah, could, Because a lot of them niggas grew up in the churches or were involved with the churches or dealing with, with certain things that were, were uh, so-called spiritual, man. All right? Whether they was in the Baptist church, Seventh-day Adventist church, or what have you, man. All right? Methodist church, whatever. You know, them different black, them different black churches or whatever. And then they got, uh, they got a taste of this word, all right? Through whatever Hebrew Israelite group they, they got involved with, and then they and, 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 and then they the, you know the spirit of Satan jumped on them and they fell out because they was in rooted man. Yeah. Well, well, first of all, like 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 you like you stated earlier, it goes back to the leaders of them different groups, right. man. Okay. We blame who's to blame? Niggas like Nate, niggas like General Yohanna, niggas like Bubble Wise from the GOCC. All right. These guys that are supposed to be leading Israel, but they're misleading them, man. By what? Not teaching them the whole truth. When they actually know the truth, man. Exactly, man. When they, when they actually know the truth. And then if there's some things that you don't know, that you don't understand, you ain't got no fucking business teaching it, man. Trying to break it down according to your own heart. All right? And the truth is tell you about that shit, man. Lean out, lean out upon your own understanding, man. Yeah, but a lot of it, 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 it really... A lot of it is just like like the apostles say. It's really all about pride, man. Because right. once they open their mouth and said it, they don't want to renege. Because once you once you once the leaders of them different groups start talking some 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 wayward shit, all right, that that, that that has never been that has never been taught before by Israel. Going back to one West, you know, with uh with with King Marshal Arya, uh, uh Abba Bivens, or what have you. Once them guys start doing their own thing and start talk, talking some other shit, all right. We always did the, the, the spirit of having quickly where the apostles would get wind of it and they'll rebuke you, man. They'll, right. they'll, they'll rebuke you quickly, man. And then once once it's out there and you've been rebuked, you, you motherfuckers are so prideful, you don't want to renege, you don't want to repent, man. Yeah, you want to keep running on and on with it and, 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 and basically uh, con bringing constant condemnation to yourself, man. Yeah, and I did a video, that's the spirit you said, that. I did a video called That Pride Demon, man. Yep. You know? Uh, I did a video called that pride demon, oh, man. You know, I'm, I'm so like, you know who you know who's, who's the perfect example of that? Nate. Come on, man. Nate. All right. I did so much. Cause, Nate, Cause Nate been he's been taught he's he's been taught by Apostle Sahar, man. All right. He's been taught by Apostle Sahar and the apostles and the elders they bring it out how, you know, um, Nate didn't understand the thing with Cornelius. Right. When it was first being when it was first being revealed, man, through the Spirit. Okay. But then years later on down the line. 
you know, he started teaching that Cornelius was the Israelite, yeah. but he, but he, but he, he, he never brought it out how he, how he came to, um, to, uh, how he came to grasp that, man. That's that pride. Man. That's that pride. He didn't, he, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't, he didn't um, acknowledge the apostle to hard apostle Gabal, you know, and, and, and the apostles for, for bringing that to his attention, man. To the point where the spirit was working with him that he could finally get it and understand it. All right. What's that real quick? Because of pride. It's yeah, Ezekiel 13, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. That's right. So we got to prophesy against the prophets of Israel, the leaders of these different Israelite camps, man, that's teaching, that that's basically going off, blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Yep. All right? The, the Holy Spirit is the whole word of, the, of, of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay? Okay, when there, there, there are certain laws that you guys don't want to touch on, and then we the first ones who actually bring it out. You know, then, 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 then you guys don't have no choice but to, to go to deal with the law, but then you want to butcher it. You want to twist it up. Now, case in point, what I'm talking about is the rape law. All right, the law on rape. Okay, since we were like the the, the main ones to actually bring it out. Right. You know, and you had a lot of people bucking up against us, but but them guys had it. They had to touch on it, man. But there's various scriptures it, out there yeah, touching it, on the rape doctrine. There's various scriptures. There's all. There's, there, then there's also other laws too, man. Besides that, like 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 Apostle Tahar made a video, you know, dealing with the law about killing your rebellious son. You know, of course you ain't gonna do that in, in 2018. You know, I mean, how many how many people out there got children that are fucking rebellious? The scriptures tell you that these women, these menstruous bitches, are gonna bring forth little monsters, man. So these kids are fucking rebellious, man. The majority of them, they supposed to be put to death, man. That's right. They supposed to be fucking stoned, That's man. You said that, bro. That's All right, right bro. okay. But we don't. We don't. We do. Do we go out there and tell and, and, and tell our people, look, if your kid is rebellious, he don't listen to you, then you gotta fucking kill him according to the law. No. So it's the same thing. We don't go out there teaching our people to fucking rape women, man. That's right. But we man. just bring it out in the law. That's right. Cause it's the law. Cause it's the law. And, and y'all the same niggas that sit there and profess the Lord. You gotta keep the laws of God. You gotta keep the laws of the Most High if you want to be saved. With a goddamn sharp ass hairline, okay, and a five o'clock shadow on your face, wearing a fucking hat and shades. The same niggas that are sit there and talk about the law. Keep the law. Keep the law. A bunch of goddamn hypocrites, man. Hey, read man. that. Read that scripture again. Huh? So it says Ezekiel 13 hey, bro, verse two: Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say down to them that prophesy out of their own hearts hear ye the word of the Lord thus saith the Lord power woe unto the foolish prophets woe unto the foolish prophets man all right going back to Matthew the 25th chapter with the fool the the the, the, uh, the, the, the ten virgins right. the five that were wise and the five that were foolish man all right because you got a lot of guys that are uh, foolish prophets they'll bring you some of the scripture they'll 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 when they do touch on certain prophecies, certain prophecies are on point. Yeah, America is gonna be destroyed. All right, they hardly go into it, but you know, once in a once in a, they can't help but the but it, it, it's in their spirit to actually say that sometimes, man. Okay, because that's that's part of what they learn from one West. All right, They'll, that's one of the few, very few prophecies that they might say, man. Okay, a lot of them don't say it no more. You know, but we but you look at old videos, you hear them saying it, man. All right. But if I may, so yeah, like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. that's why you know that they're not a part of the law because it says in Revelation 19 and 10 that the spirit that the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. So they don't be going to prophecy, so the Lord isn't dealing with them essentially. Because yeah. hey, because it's all good to teach our people that they're the children of Israel. Right. But you gotta teach them, you got but the Lord, what's the most important part? The Lord says you gotta warn our people. Yeah, man. You gotta go into prophecies. You gotta man. go into prophecies. Yeah, warn the right? sons of Israel, man. Yeah. Right. Because as soon as Ezekiel the third chapter, man, if you ain't doing that, then the most high, their blood. It's gonna be upon you, man. Yeah, and you don't want that. Yeah, kind of, cause you you hey, you can't you can't at one time teach. Oh, we know the name of the Lord. His name is Yahweh, and his right. name is Yahweh Shah, and bring out all kind of books and information, uh, proving it, man. And then to turn around, uh, de uh, a decade, a decade and a decade and a half later, and say, look, we don't we don't we don't know the name of the Lord. Right. We, don't, we we're not we're not no, we're not really sure what's the name of the Lord. His name hasn't really been revealed. All right, that's goddamn confusion, man. And the Lord said He's the author of peace and not not the author of confusion. All right, so what the hell is it, nigga? All right, you foolish prophets, man. That change of doctrine. One minute you out there condemning the so-called white man, claim, claiming that he's the devil according to the Bible, and then the next minute you sitting there saying Edomites can be saved. 
All right, the Most High's gonna kill you, wicked ass that's, niggas. That's unstable man, of Israel, man. man. All right. Don't, don't. You an unstable Negro, man. You unstable. You got more. Yes, yeah, says. Woe unto the foolish prophets I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the light. Yeah, that follow their own man. spirit and have seen nothing. Oh, Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in dirt in hey, deserts. These niggas, these niggas ain't seen a goddamn thing, man. They ain't seen nothing, man. They sitting there prophesying uh, with, with, with false. False prophesying. Their own feelings. Yeah, their own feelings and emotions, man. All right? And the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. He ain't dealing with nobody's emotions, man. All right? You read the word of the Lord. Then first and foremost, you got to pray that the Holy Spirit is guiding you, man. Right. right. All right? That Yahweh Shah is supping with you to understand his word. And to break it down properly. And to break it down properly, man. That, that's first and foremost, man. That's okay? Right. And, and, and put your fucking emotions aside, man. Okay? And, and if there's certain things in here that, 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 that touches your emotions, it, 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 don't don't even fucking speak on it then, man. Don't you even don't cut. don't don't even speak on it. You you pray on it, man. Cause you getting cut. Yeah. You know, there's certain things that you can't get. You know, because you do too emotional, you too touchy, and it and it, and it, and, it, and it, most most really the law speaks for itself, man. Yeah. The law really speaks for itself. Okay, Dude, but you gotta have you gotta be emotional and wicked and have Satan on you to try to make the the, the law fashion to, to fit your fucking emotions, Bro, man. Can I say something yeah, real quick? Brother, go How can you get emotion? Yeah. On the emotional over the words of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, man. These are not our words. These are the words of the Most High, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, and the Most High is a straight man. Hey, hey, it's like, I, I can understand. I can understand why, you know, because hey, before you, before, hey, I'll speak for myself. Before I came in the truth, before I even heard Tahar read the um the, the doctrine on rape, you know, when I first heard it, when I first read it, I, I, I understood clear that it was talking about rape without a shadow of a doubt. But in my, in my, my, my emotions was fucking with me. And this is before I was even in the truth. I was like, damn. I said, yo, God is that cold that he would allow rape? Because I, I had that westernized fucking mentality, mentality man. Yeah. You yeah, know, man. I, 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 that's how I do it. So, you know, and if, and if you got that, if you read in the script, if you reading the law and the scripture and you got that type of mentality and you claiming to be an Israelite or a prophet, one who it's breaks down you, the man. laws of the Most High, hey, first of all, if you if you read that and you don't get it, you trying to you trying to figure, hey, that, that shit could happen, but you got to pray to the Lord, man. You gotta, you gotta pray to the Lord that that, 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 that he's that he's able to make you make you get it, man. And the do some strength you, man. And do it. The strength, cunt, exactly, man. The strength in you, man. All right, because that's the last thing you want to do is be teaching Israel a lie. That's the last thing you want to do. Blaspheming the, the Holy Spirit, man. Right. That's right. So yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You want to say something? That's why it's important to become a new creature, as the, you know, as the, the apostle yep, said yep. in the Bible. So, it's always a growing yeah. process. Yeah. It's, it's always, man, man. it's always a growing process, man. So all that shit you learn, being in this western side of the earth, man, you gotta cast it to the side, man. Come. Now you became a new creature when you came in this truth, man. Now you gotta learn the words of the Most High, you have a you have a shot, and be manly about it. Man. And, and, and another thing too, a lot of you guys, you gotta, you, you, we, we, okay, we was born, we were born here in America, so we born into this Western civilization already westernized from our parents, you know, things you know, things that they instilled instilled in us. Then the so-called white man with his witchcraft, with the media, and so forth, man. Alright? But when you read these scriptures, man, and, and, you, and you read the Bible, the Old Testament, man, even the New Testament, because that's things that was going on in ancient times. You gotta put your you gotta put yourself, you gotta put put yourself back into the mind state of how men were living, or how people was living back in those in those times, man, in the ancient world. There wasn't no woman walking around out there in liberty, man. I'm talking about I'm an independent woman, man. Every woman back in the ancient world depended on a fucking man. Alright? They depended on a man. That's right. Okay? You gotta you gotta you gotta put yourself you gotta you gotta like like Esau does when he makes these movies. Right. He makes these movies. He studies he studies the scriptures, man. Yeah. And he 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 basically puts it all in, in artwork and put it, it, it like like a like a like a like a teleportation machine right. and puts you right back into the ancient world, yeah. man. Okay? Hey, hey, but now they got a video, they got a movie coming out called Peppermint, where you got this woman beating the shit out of men and killing men. Hey man, yo man, this is crazy. She's 90 pounds, man. Knocking men out that's a, that that's 280 pounds, knocking them out. Boop, boop, boop. She 80 pounds. You believe that shit? Get the fuck out of here, man. Hey, well, you had, you had, you had this, 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 the, um, the last new case joint, man. Yeah. Misty, right, Misty right. Storm, she, bitch had one arm. And she was fucking up a bar full of niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny, yeah, man. That's funny, man. Hey, man, right. but you know what, though, man? We're going to close it out. You got a little more yeah, scriptures than that, I'm, right I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish that off in First Peter's real quick, because there's yeah. still a little cut, bit more cut, to cut, it. It's uh, uh, First Peter's chapter 4, verse 17, and we're going to end it on that note. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, 
And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Talking about the two thirds, man, and also the rest of the nations, man. It's gonna be horrific, man. Pursuant to Ezekiel, we didn't get a chance to get into it. Ezekiel, the twenty-first chapter, the ninth verse, man. Pursuant to Second Ezra, eight and fifty. Second Ezra, the fifth chapter, the first verse, man. Man, it's multiple scriptures, man, getting into the destruction of the of the two thirds. And the rest of the nations, man. One, one more verse. Yeah, come. Verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Hey, Amen. Because then that time, man, when the most high simultaneously bring in destruction, he's gonna bring deliverance, man. Pursuant to Isaiah, the 65th chapter, the 66th chapter, the 16th, the 15th to the 16th verse, man. Jeremiah the 25th chapter. The 31st verse on down to the 33rd verse, oh, man. Matt, Matthew's the 13th chapter with, the, with the Lord going into the parable of the wheat and the tares. Yeah. All right? Because it, 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 it tells you the reap, the, the harvest, the reapers are, are going to be doing the work at the end. Meaning what? Who the reapers? That, that's talking about the angels. Yeah. You're going to have certain chariots that set up to seek and destroy and other chariots to deliver. That's right, man. Hey, that's the spirit, bro. So the most times are going to bring the double Ds, man. Death and deliverance, man. Or should I say the, the, the triple Ds. Death, destruction, and deliverance, man. You know? So you two thirds that forsook the words of the most high, that is joining yourselves unto Esau, the so-called white man, Esau or Edom. Hey, rejoice with Esau. Pursuant to Lamentations 4 and 21, rejoice with him. Be glad with him, man. Because guess what? When Esau go down, you go down, man. So with that. We gonna give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, yep. and salutations to Akim out there that's pushing us the truth and sincerity. And with that, Shalom, man. Shalom, Akim.